Adding a package to an Adonis JS project involves two steps. The first step is to install the package with npm or any other package manager. And the second step is to configure the package using the Adonis configure command, which will register the package inside the .adonisrc.json file, add its types inside the tsconfig.json file, and depending on the package, it can do other things like create files or install dependencies. As it stands, we should be able to do the first step after publishing the package of course, which leaves us with the second step. So in this lesson, we will be covering how to make the package configurable. When the configure command is run, Adonis.js will look for an Adonis.js session inside the package package.json file and use whatever that is defined there to configure the package. So we need to add an Adonis.js session inside the package.json file. We will add it to the end of the file, Adonis.js, which will be an object. Inside here is where we will define how we want to configure the package. There are a lot of options we can define here. To have an idea of the possible options we can define here, we can look at the Adonis Sync package, which is used under the hood by the configure command. So here are the possible options we can define inside the Adonis JS session. So we can define an instructions file, an instructions MD file, templates, an ENV session, we can define preloads meta files, types, commands, providers, aliases, ace providers, and test providers. Depending on the package you are building, you can use a combination of any of them or all of them. But for our own package, we will start with the providers. So we'll define providers, which will be an array. And in our case, we only have just one provider, which will be at mesalabs slash adonis dash confirm dash password. Basically, this should be the package name, and this is what will be added inside the providers section of the .adonisroc.json file. In subsequent lessons, we will add other options. Next, let's update the files that will be included in the package. I'm going to get rid of this. When the package is compiled, it will be compiled inside a build directory. So we need everything inside the source directory, and also everything inside the providers directory. Again, in subsequent lessons, we will update this accordingly. Lastly, let's update the main entry file. So this will be build slash providers slash confirm password provider dot js, which will be this file because this is where we we'll register the package with the Adonis IOC container. And it's where we are instantiating the classes. So that is how to make an Adonis package configurable. So when this package is installed and the configure command is run, the package should now work in any Adonis project.